The bar to find Peugeot 404, or do you say Peugeot 404? This is an old French car. We're about to do a restoration on it. And you're probably thinking, this nerd doesn't know how to restore a car, and you are right. But we're gonna try. We're gonna get this barn find to its new home. So it's going from a shed to a to a barn, and it's been sitting in a different shed for about 13 years. So let's see if we can get it up and running, and then driving. Wow, batteries. <laughs> it's actually not totally dead. It's been sitting here for six months and it's really cold. I think there's probably a blockage in the fuel line because when Ted, um, who I bought this car from, had this car, he had it sitting for like 13 years and then he had to blow out the fuel lines to get it going again. I drove it around for a couple weeks and then uh, let it sit for another six months. Uh, so I am going to try blowing out the fuel lines. Okay, so update. This is my Harbor Freight air compressor and it is literal garbage. It is the single worst piece of invention I think humanity has ever come up with. It's just horrible. I mean, it's it's unusable, it's so bad. Um, it, it will hold air for, <laughs> I don't know, 20 seconds and then the pressure that comes out of there is abysmal. So um, what I did is I removed the fuel line going to the fuel pump and I was able to get just enough air in there and I can hear it bubbling in the tank but nothing's coming out this side, so I don't I don't want to do what I'm gonna do. I'm going to suck in on the fuel line and see if I can clear the blockage with this pump. This is gonna be horrible. Let's see, do we have any power? Yep, power. Crank. Oh. <laughs> Listen to that. This is not a drill. That is a running engine. Here we go. Leaving the neighborhood where I store this car. <laughs> Actually, it's running amazingly well. Knock on Peugeot that that stays the case. Now, what are we looking at? This is a 1965 404 wagon, 404. And this was a very popular car throughout France, but also Northern Africa. And ooh, we got some puddles here. I'd hate for it to get rusty. It's a joke, it's a joke. I promise it's a joke. Now, why am I restoring a 404? Hmm, because I'm bored and complacent in my life and I think that that would be a fun skill to learn. Do I know what I'm doing? No. Do I have a little bit of a sense of what I'm doing? No, not, not even this much. Come on, 404. Into second on the column. That feels like second, it is. Can I get a third? Oh, I got a third. 1.6 liter engine and it's a Hemi baby. This is basically a 1970 Plymouth Cuda. Now to get to my final destination, I am gonna have to drive it up an ice covered hill, which I did last week in a 2CV and it did not go swimmingly. <laughs> See how it goes in the Peugeot. He's going for it. Oh wow. I'm already rallying. Did you see that? It's a major oversteer. Oh god. This is exactly what I didn't want to happen. Oh, he was so close! God, it died. It's now broken down. All right, now it's a party. Now my dad is showing up here. Let's just, can you please go get the strap and the D-ring? I think you're stuck. I am stuck. You need a pull? All right, let's see if a little go-go juice will actually get it going again. No, I, it, it's just, it's clogged up again. We did make it up here with the help of a Toyota friend. Yeah, I just hope this doesn't end up being like the graveyard for the Peugeot 404. Promise <laughs> me that, Tommy. Tell me that this thing will live on beyond 
tumbleweed ranch. That is the goal, Dad. I do not want it to fall apart and slowly disintegrate into the ground here, becoming one with this American soil. It makes good lawn art. <laughs> it it's very make, good. 